Hi, my name is The Lit One. I'll be your waiter for tonight. Welcome to The Lit Ones. Um, on the menu tonight will be a succulent Sunday roast. Parsnips, buttered carrots, roasted potatoes, obviously the main entree, the roast, and we'll have cauliflower, cheesy cauliflower. First and foremost, we're gonna start with the roast. We're gonna preheat the oven to 350. Yeah, get me, don't forget merch. And the GoFundMe to get me to the UK is in the, the link underneath the profile picture. I got my roast right here. You wanna take your olive oil, put it on it, put it on there, season it with black pepper and salt. And that's what you want it to look like. Oven's ready, uncovered for an hour and 15 minutes. Get the Yorkshire pudding mix ready. Uh, equal parts, all purple flour, one egg. You'd rather put too little milk so you could just add to get that right consistency. This is the consistency you kind of want. But I'm gonna put a top on this cup and place it in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes to chill. These little things, I got these for the Yorkshire puddings. They work pretty good. Got my little oil in there to heat up. I'm gonna be using this for the roasted potatoes. And I wanna use this whole stick. This is not lard, it's just regular butter. Whole stick for a half a cup with my pilt and chopped up potatoes going here. Here are my potatoes. They might cook unevenly, but you know, my first time making Sunday roast. And these were peeled red potatoes. Uh, in the meantime, here's my butter. I'm gonna take some, some of this beef juice and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna melt this stick of butter while we wait for this to boil, then simmer on low to medium heat for 10 minutes. At this point, I feel like I'm in the halfway, I'm at the halfway point in my cooking process. The only thing I'm worried about is honestly the roast beef because I ain't never cooked one before. I just hope it come out right, man. I'm just not gonna overcook it, simple. Uh, cut up the cauliflower into little florets and start preparing the cauliflower cheese stuff. This is not bad for my first time. I ain't never ate fresh cabbage. I mean, not cabbage, cauliflower. I don't even think I ate cauliflower ever in my life. We wanna take these potatoes, drain them into here to save some of the water for the gravy. They say you wanna shake up the drained potatoes and then you wanna put it into that, put it in there. And then I wanna like mix it in and then put it back in the oven for 25 minutes. So I do got some parsnip. So what you wanna do is grab a, like a baking tin thing, oil it, then preheat the baking tin, and then peel the parsnips, cut them into like, like salary sticks type of situation. And then you wanna roast them, for season them, then roast them. Here. Preheated oil, here are the parsnips. I have no idea, but I ain't never had a parsnip in my life. So I'm just gonna add them to the full, this, and I'm gonna uh, stir them up and I'm gonna season them. And I'm gonna show y'all what they look like before I put them back in. For all of those who really didn't think I sat here and peeled these and cut them, boom. This is what they look like before they going back in. I'm gonna give them one little shake up and make sure it's all blended well. All right, now it's time to work on the creamy, the cheese cauliflower. I wanna put this and boil it, right? Put it on high, bring it to a boil. Then I wanna let it simmer for another eight minutes. The roast is done. I'm gonna take that fella out. Now what we wanna do, we also wanna take these potatoes out, stir them up, give them a stir, and put the heat on the oven to 425. Put these back into a lower shelf. All right, so now we're doing the cauliflower cheese stuff. So let's say put two tablespoons. Okay, hold on now, chill out. That's, that's two-y. And then they say put two tablespoons of cheese on the bottom. It's like you wanna layer it. All right, how that look? And then you wanna put half of the cauliflower. And then you wanna put half of this. And then you wanna put a quarter I like mine cheesy. I don't care what nobody talking about. It's really like layers, that's all. It's like a macaroni. 
with less seasoning. But I'm gonna put some seasoning in here now, y'all tweaking. And then pour the rest of that. And then put some cheese and then my seasoning. Now I will be boiling both my carrots and my broccoli. I don't got no steamer. So carrots. So we got these two boiling. And now we can finally add these to the oven for five minutes on the preheat joint. That's coming out good. Now in four minutes, I want to rotate those and I want to take those out. They're not brown, but I got a broiler. I'm going to brown them at the end along with those. Now that this is preheated, we want to put this evenly. All right. And do not open the oven until that is done. Put this on in now. Twenty minutes for all those who doubted me. Cheesy cauliflower, parsnips, carrots, broccoli. Now the broccoli is, you know, not up to par, but whatever. Uh, Yorkshire pudding, decent roast, and here's my plate. All right, and that's the home cooked meal. Y'all see it? By yours truly, the lit one. Let's taste the carrots with the gravy. As I expected, good. Mm. Broccoli, all right. Mm. I could do better. Parsnip. Now, this is a scary. Hold on now. I ain't never in my life had a snip of parse. Mm. That's good. Let's try this cheesy cauliflower. That's good. Need some seasoning. Need some salt, but it's good. Potatoes. Not crispy enough, but they're good. Let's try this roast. It's good, but it, it needs to be heated up. We need salt, paper, and we need the right cut. Yorkshire pudding. Never disappoints. I don't see how y'all can eat this every Sunday. How y'all not gluttonous? Okay. Okay. That's it? Mm-hmm. Try the cheesy stuff, the cheesy cauliflower. The gravy right, make it, but yeah, the gravy is what do it. <laughs> make sure you get the sauce on it. That shit, hey, listen. <laughs> Put the gravy on the your Yorkshire pudding. That's your Yorkshire pudding. With a little piece of beef. This shit got decent. Mm. I just ate it whole. Oh. That one might not be for me. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's not for you, huh? What would you rate this overall? Overall? I think this is the best right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, our cheese stuff? Mm-hmm. Overall, probably about a 6.8. 6.5 miles. He came back, spun the block, didn't he? <laughs> I don't think I rated it. So overall, my rating is about a seven. One through 10, one being average, uh, one being stop cooking. 10 being it's the best food I ever had out of the UK. Five is average, I give it like a seven. I can only imagine how it tastes from y'all. Got enough leftovers. That's how it's supposed to be, right?